And with that, it is with great, great honor to share this next video, which features uh, Jimmy, who's part of our AIM board uh, director. So I'm going to click play as so well. Why is mentorship uh, meaningful for me? I, I think uh, to sum it up, mentorship is what has gotten me through so many difficult moments as I'm trying to move forward in my career and as I try to grow personally. Mentorship for me means community, it means growing. And for me, truly, mentorship allows for me to learn from the journeys that other people have had. And it's how I try to pay it back and pay it forward. I think as I first started Me Mento, and one thing that always stood out to me was thinking about mentorship as multi-directional. I think we can always learn from one another. And, you know, I believe no one is too uh, far in their journey to not be able to gain something from witnessing the journeys people have had. So mentorship, I think, is present to cheer you on, hold you accountable and also to hold you when things are difficult. And as many people know, uh, I'm a two-time applicant. I have had to take the MCAT multiple times and even thinking about the step exams and my journey through that, I have relied on my mentors. And really I think of mentorship as a team of people that are there uh, for you. And so mentorship, I think, lifts you up and I firmly believe that I have gotten myself here by working hard but also by the people who have helped me along the way and have showed a example of how to be a leader. I joined the AIM board for multiple reasons and one of those reasons being a, an opportunity to be able to contribute back to an organization that I found quite uh, formative to my growth as a pre-med student and also in, in my leadership but more specifically, I wanted to help breathe in, you know, new energy and energy of someone who has participated in the leadership of Mi Mentor and also to hopefully continue to build bridges between the lived experiences that people have as they're trying to achieve their goal in being physicians or someone in healthcare recognizing that not everyone starts from the same place. And I think with my personal journey, I would... I, I believe that I can bring into AIM some really personal and I think relatable experiences that hopefully will continue to help us center our values and really the voices of all of you as Mi Mentor leaders. And so um, I really think of my involvement as AIM as, as a continuation as, from of the work that I've been able to do and, and really trying to gift back what I, I know I have personally benefited from. So a little bit about my work in health equity. Um, first, I'll start off by saying I, I think many of us are already doing health equity work even before we recognize that it's health equity work. Growing up in a family of monolingual Spanish speakers, growing up in a family of immigrants, of family who have no connection to the healthcare field as, as a profession. Um, I and my siblings have always been truly health advocates and health navigators for our family. And so I think that's where so much of that work originated from before I had the language for it. And, you know, I think my time in undergrad as a Chicanx studies major, I think really gifted me the consciousness to think about all the histories and all the experiences that our families have and we personally have and our communities have around issues of social justice, issues of oppression and racism that has allowed for me, I think, to build out a career that has centered what I now recognize, cultural humility, intersectionality, and also thinking about health equity. And so my, my journey, I have, I, I'm very proud of having had a journey that um, has allowed for me to be involved in things not for what it looks like on my resume on my cv but for what it does for me as as an individual and as someone who's committed to health justice and so the way my work currently looks like is i'm currently a second year pediatric resident at ucsf in our pediatric leaders advancing health equity um, residency program and so in that uh, work, I get to flex my um, skills as a leader and also 
get to sit down and listen to folks who are leading this work. And so I think most actively right now, what I try to do in my role as a physician, but also as an individual and community who has, I think, years of work um, in community organizing is really trying to uh, think about how we engage with community from a lens that recognizes traumas that people have, recognizes that we experience daily racism and oppression just by existing in the United States. And so I think what my work is actively looking at is engaging in conversations uh, with individuals and leaderships, uh, whether it's in my program as a resident, whether it's in Mi Mentor through the AIM board, or just really participating in community um, activities. I think to like sum it up, for me, the way I approach my work in health equity is to really build off of the work that I have been doing um, since undergrad, since you know being that health advocate for my family and really taking those experiences and allowing for them to speak, uh, I think loudly uh, when, when moments of oppression occur. And so for me, it's about speaking up whenever I can and calling out uh, instances of oppression and racism when they happen. And I'm, I'm really happy that I'm able to do that uh, as a physician, because it does carry weight. Um, and we bring a lot of power with the roles that we take on, uh, and really with the experiences that we have uh, with our families. One more thing that I would add is how I think I'm flexing my work in health equity is I'm a creative person, I'm an artist, I'm a writer, and that really matters to me. And it matters how I show up in, in this world as, as an activist. And so one thing I'm really, really proud of is, is really flexing of my creativity and my role as a physician. So I'm actively working on opening a small uh, art gallery within our space uh, at UCSF in our pediatrics department, Mission Hall, which is where we do a lot of our lectures to allow for community conversation and uplifting uh, young people's art related to health equity and social justice. And I think I, I, I'm sharing that for us to know that we can bring our full selves into our work and be creative and, and be loud and also be silent and, and flex our skills in silent ways. And so I think for me, it's just really thinking about how I, how I can show up in the world and hold myself accountable to the beliefs that I have that racism should not exist and that we should call it out when it happens and all forms of oppression should be stopped. For me, it's just really thinking about how I, how I can show up in the world and hold myself accountable to the beliefs that I have that racism should not exist and that we should call it out when it happens and all forms of oppression should be stopped.